Hey, hello, I'm Özgün and I'm super excited to be here. Today I'll talk about EuroGPT, an open source and privacy conscious alternative to ChatGPT Enterprise. I have about 10 slides and a demo and I'll zoom through them really fast in seven minutes. All right. First, who are we? Who's working on this thing? Again, I'm Özgün, one of the co-founders at UbiCloud. Previously, Umur and I co-founded Citus Data, which we sold to Microsoft in 2019. And at Microsoft, along with Umur and Daniel, we worked on open source. I led our engineering teams there, and during this entire journey, I was very lucky to be working with Umur and Daniel. So much so, and we liked working together so much so, that we decided to do another startup, UbiCloud. And with that, I left Microsoft and moved from California to Amsterdam last year. And as every other entrepreneur in Europe, we started using ChatGPT for Teams. But we quickly ran into two challenges. First, our team has worked on open source infrastructure for over a decade. Using a proprietary solution felt like a step back in terms of transparency, in terms of flexibility, and in terms of control. And second, the more we looked into EU regulations, the more we scratched our heads. Because ChatGPT runs on GPUs in the US. So using it would mean that we'd ship our data to the US and effectively lose jurisdiction over our data. So we took a step back, thought about this, and did what every aspiring startup operating in Europe with love for infrastructure and open source would do. We built EuroGPT Enterprise. And we asked EuroGPT Enterprise where we should announce this thing. I was expecting and hoping Ibiza in May or in June. EuroGPT told us to come to Helsinki late November. So here we are, and at Slush today, we're excited to announce EuroGPT, an open source and privacy conscious alternative. And it isn't only us who's excited about this thing. We showed Gary Tan, why Combinator CEO, what we built. And he was very enthusiastic about this as well. He said, quote, what EuroGPT is doing, combining open source with the flexibility to control your own data, is exactly what we need in today's AI landscape. So we just flipped this live, and starting now, businesses and enterprises can evaluate EuroGPT. And I was so psyched about this thing that I wanted to do a live demo on stage. But Ben, the principal engineer working on this solution, urged me and said, Özgün, please don't do a live demo. Something always goes wrong with a live demo. And even if the live demo works, you have the conference Wi-Fi. That's why at Microsoft, we always did recorded demos. So we thought about this for a bit, and I said, Ben, we're not at Microsoft anymore. If we fail, at least it will be memorable. So let's switch this and cross fingers that we don't fail. All right. Can you see the screen? All right, I'm going to prompt this thing. Here I am logged into EuroGPT, and I'm going to ask what's the best startup in conference, uh, best startup conference in Europe is. All right. Yes. Okay, well, no, all right. Well, the problem with uh, Gen AI is sometimes it hallucinates, and uh, you need to prompt it correctly. So I'll, I'll pause this just for a sec. All right, let's think, and I'll prompt it with something more specific. All right. What's the best city in Europe to hit the sauna while attending a startup conference? Crossing fingers? Yes. We're in the best startup conference in Europe, slash Helsinki, and we can hit the sauna. And in fact, EuroGPT is so excited about us being in Helsinki that even has recommendations for saunas for us that we can hit during or after the conference. All right, this is good, it worked. 
And I'm, I'm so happy that it worked because if it didn't, I think Van would pretend not to know me until the end of the conference, at least. But how did this work? Like, how does this work? Let me go back here and share a bit more. So, the way it worked is first, this runs fully on UV Cloud's open source infrastructure from the bare metal all the way up to the Euro GPT application that you've seen. And then this gives you security and transparent, like you can validate our claims, security and transparency claims. The second thing is it's portable. And this portability means you can be more flexible in terms of your deployment options. And third, we use open weight models. Here you're using Llama 3.v, uh, the 405 billion parameter like model. And then this model is competitive in its accuracy with GPT-40. This way, you can build very advanced and sophisticated AI apps, use them, while not locking yourself into a specific and proprietary vendor. And finally, all of this runs our own data centers out of Europe. And we ensure that no data gets transferred outside of Europe. This helps us maintain GDPR compliance. We also offer custom data retention windows. We don't keep customer data or metadata for training purposes. We encrypt the data at rest and in transit, and we do regular key rotation. For the data at rest, we apply a technique called envelope encryption. This ensures that compromising the storage host or the key hosts alone isn't enough to decrypt your data. And Finally, most importantly, you don't need to trust us to validate these claims. Thanks to open source, you can validate and audit these claims yourself. And all of these privacy guarantees, all of these security guarantees, and all the features that I've just shown you are available to EU businesses at one third the price. So each euro that you spend on this solution buys you more. To recap, we just launched Euro GPT for businesses. This is the first fully open source solution that gives you not one, not two, but three key benefits. And as importantly, it aligns with European values. So if you're looking to build an application within your business for your employees, an AI application, if you'd like, or if you'd like to have your knowledge base remain private to your environment, or you simply have a question, please hit us up. Our email is eurogpt at ubcloud.com, and I'll be there nearby the coffee tables for the next 10 minutes uh, to answer any questions. And again, I'm psyched to be here at Helsinki today, and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.